Good day to everyone from CashBoner.com because nothing makes you more excited. On today's video, I'll be going over the new Xbox Game Pass games for October 2018 and a small update on the Xbox Game Pass quest for this past summer. Thank you for joining me. Happy Hump Day! If you like what you're seeing, please make sure you give a little visit to the like, share, and subscribe button down below. If you have any questions, tips, comments, post them in the comment section. Now, taking a break from the main event. So the main game added to Xbox Game Pass this October, and I'm surprised they added so many in addition, of course, is Forza Horizon 4. I just started playing it yesterday uh, on the Xbox One X, and it looks freaking beautiful. I've taken the small break to record this video, but I think Xbox Game Pass finally has the game changer or must-have title that it's been waiting for. Maybe I'll go into a more detailed video on just that subject alone. But Forza Horizon 4... So far, awesome. I mean, the reviews are great. I'm enjoying it. So, yeah, it's, Britain is beautiful. And also along with uh, Force of Horizon 4, we get Shantae Half Genie Hero HD added, which is highly related pla uh, rated platformer. Westero, uh, I haven't played that one. Lego Indiana Jones, I've yet to play a Lego game, but I've heard they're all great. Metro 2033 Redux, so now you have both Metro games remastered on Xbox Game Pass. Wolfenstein The New Order, which I've been intending to play. Uh, I couldn't get into it too much last time. I remember getting it as a free rental from Redbox, but maybe this time I'll actually have time after Forza Horizon 4. I'll try it. And Split Second, which is an Xbox 360 title. Reminds me of Burnout. If Again, if I have a chance with the backlog, I'll play it. But Xbox Game Pass for October, the games might be the best additions, I think, yet, because of the fact that it includes a brand new game and I think every other game that was added is highly rated. So I'm not sure about Split Second, but every other game is. So yay there. Now, quick update on the Xbox Game Pass quest for the summer. The one that involved Rise of the Tomb Raider, which I believe ended in the middle of August. I just got my reward yesterday. I got the message on my Xbox. And you'll see it. It'll show up as a message to you from Xbox Live. I got the Sparrow Head Arrow pack or whatever the heck it's called uh, DLC for Rise of the Tomb Raider as promised which means that it took them 45 days or so to get me the damn reward so judging by that I wouldn't be surprised if that's going to be their uh, MO for the remainder of the quest so hopefully it's not the case but you might be waiting until the middle of November to get your code for uh, Halo ODST for the Master Chief Collection but, yeah, 45 days to get the damn reward. And I wouldn't be surprised if Xbox, uh, regular Xbox Quest are the same way. So just keep that in mind. 45 days seems to be the waiting period at this point. I hope everyone was able to get through the uh, Wild Kingdom and into the Moon Gate. And hopefully soon into the Badlands on the Point Crusader quests. But, yeah, that'll be it for now. I'm itching to get back to Force Horizon 4. So thank you, everybody, for joining me. Go out there, play some games, make some money, save some money, spend some money. Don't get boned. Get boning.